Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this uh, new radio video. Good to have you this afternoon. It's been a while since I've been um, had it really time to do any videos and been thinking about some. And I thought, since I don't quite have the time to um, you know get the tripod out and all that, I thought I could just do something quick on my computer and show you. Uh, kind of my suite, I'll call it, um, for uh, medium wave uh, logging. So uh, typically when I'm listening uh, to the radio, if I'm not just listening casually, but kind of trying to pick up something, I'm, I'm working on this uh, medium wave chart N2XTO. That's my, um, that's my ham call, um, which I don't use. Uh, except for this, and uh, this is a medium wave chart. Instead of kind of logging it by time, you know, and kind of logging individual entries, I, in this uh, Google Docs, I guess it's Google, what's it called? Google Charts? No, Google, um, it's not slides, I forget, whatever it is. It's a spreadsheet function within Google Docs. And so I've created a spreadsheet, and down on the A, column I just have all of these medium wave channels here in the US going from 520 530 to 710 and so each uh, each line is dedicated to that particular frequency and so you'll see that I'm this is a work in progress this, I just started this so this is gonna continue to fill out um, and you'll see that I have uh, the, the B uh, this first column is local fringe this is stuff that I can pick up during the day, any day on my desk, and I, I can't pick it up with just any old radio. I kind of have to do this with my good medium wave setup here in the office. And uh, this is, you know, these are stations that are usually not competing with other stations on that on that frequency. So um, any any time of uh, during the day, I can pick up these reliably. And the bold, you know, I was trying the bold to show the the real powerhouses. 660. So you see, um, and this isn't really filled in yet, although I don't think I get anything here currently. There are a couple of spaces, but you see, I'm, I'm just in a great uh, medium wave area. I mean, look at all that stuff I can get. Uh, getting Long Island, Philadelphia, New York, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Connecticut. Um, just a, a good uh, breadth of, of local and fringe stations. And so the next set of columns I've labeled here nighttime slash DX. These are just uh, stations that I've logged, um, uh, usually in the evening. Um, WSM from Nashville, 650. Very, uh, pretty reliable most of the time. I can get that at night. Uh, there's other stations, and here, here's an example, 680. Um, there's nothing local on 680, so it's wide open for um, all kinds of stations from all over the place. So you can see that I have logged uh, WRKO in Boston, WCBM Baltimore, WKAZ Charleston, and WPTF in Raleigh. And I'm I'm going to guess that uh, there's probably a few more that I can get, and uh, some of these other frequencies likewise, uh, like 650, for example. Although WSM is too powerful, but there might be something I can I can pick up. So that's the one thing I have open is my logging chart. And one thing you can do with Google, um, oh, this is going to bug me. I just got to figure it out. Let's see. Sheets, sorry, Google Sheets. The mental freeze there for a second. So I have my Google Sheet, uh, and this is a private doc. If you're not familiar with uh, documents on Google, this is private. Um, or you can share it with whoever you like. So uh, I could click a few buttons, and everyone in the world could look at this. Um, you can set up the security settings, but this is a private one for me, and, and this is what I keep up uh, that I keep open when I'm listening. So I have the first tab up here, my chart, my log, and two other tabs that are, that are references, and I've referenced this before, radiolocator.com. It's a great site. Um, you can do a search of your uh, of your zip code, for example, and this will dutifully show you every FM or whatever you want to look at. If you just want FM, or you just want AM or both, it'll show you every channel, every uh, uh, 
every station that should come in in that location. Um, how I tend to use it is I use the advanced search. I know I've done this before. I'm not going to go through it all. But the advanced search, um, you can enter by call letter. You can enter by frequency. Um, nine times out of ten, if I don't know what I'm listening to, I'm entering the frequency and see what pops up. So let's see what pops up on... Let's just try 650, for example. If there's something else other than WSM. Uh, here's WSM. And uh, here's a list of others that operate on that frequency. And these are probably not likely, but you never know, I guess. Uh, I just haven't spent a lot of time here. Maybe this uh, Nash walk. Uh, that might be a possibility. But anyway, so that's one, one example of one of the things I have open. And the other thing is my broadcast maps. So um, this is a great site. Uh, NF nf8m.com amateur operator also does some great medium wave reference maps and if you go to this home page here and click daytime and then you go down here and click the frequency you want to look at and this will show you visually what that pattern looks like I should look, uh, so this is daytime so let's go back and do nighttime that's what I really want nighttime 650. You'll see WSM with a mammoth. I mean, that's so that, that that can more visually give you a sense of what you're up against. If I'm trying to find another channel, another station other than WSM from where I am in New Jersey, this this chart shows you what you're up against. So I, these are just not. I just don't see them being likely. But that's you know something to do in the future. All right, so that's my uh, these are this is my suite. Uh, go back to my thing, and so this is the the thing that I'll keep open on my computer as I'm as I'm listening and logging. And one of the things you can do on on Google Sheets is um, uh, say instead of just listing the station that you got, you can also um, insert a comment or a note. I'll do a note insert a note and you can uh, type in you know whatever it is that kind of struck you about that or if you want to log times and stuff um, and that note will stay oops yeah that note becomes part of the uh, part of the log but it's hidden so when I'm looking at WSVA in Harrisonburg I can see the note that I wrote on it so pretty pretty cool thing so that's my uh, that's my listening uh, online resources, and I hope this has been helpful, and I hope to uh, see you soon. I've got some uh, additions to my antenna system and just some other things I've been playing around with. So thanks for watching, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Love to have you.